Hello there, welcome to the Don Amot Showground here in Hilton Derby. My name's Tom and I'm very excited today to show you around one of our latest arrivals. This is the Elvis Chatsworth 194. So it's a dealer special. It's got loads of bits and features on it. I'm really excited to show you around today. Uh, what I'll do, I'll crack on the outside and we'll jump on the inside after. So it's done just over 10,400 miles on 68th plate. So credit to its previous owner, it's looking in tip top condition. As we go around, you can see some of the special features. We've got like the alloy wheels just down there, obviously on every corner. Uh, nice graphics going inside, uh, down the side of the van as well. It's really smart. We've got a solar panel uh, on top of the roof as well. Just on this side, you've got a few bits. You've got like your toilet cassette is on this side, your water fill point as well. Uh, you have got an external shower uh, just there. So if you've been to the beach or got a muddy dog or anything, you can wash them down or rinse them down just before you get in the van as well. Uh, this is where your leisure battery is and your mains hook up those in there as well. So you can tuck it all under the side so no one's going to be tripping over that. In the rear locker, it's absolutely massive. So you can fit yeah. bikes, um, big uh, electric bikes in there or anything you want really. It's got the strap down points as well uh, yeah. in there as well. So this is all underneath. Uh, the fixed bed at the back. Super. Moving around. Speaking of bikes, you've got the four rack bike rack uh, just on the rear, just here. So that literally pulls down, and you've got arms and supports in the uh, frame as well to keep it nice and secure. Reversing camera is just at the top, to give you the helping hand uh, reversing the Elvis. And then again, Sides of the storage underneath the rear bed is absolutely humongous. Yeah. Accessible from that both sides. Got a few lights in there as well, so uh, you can see what you're doing. Lovely. You have your gas locker just on this side as well, so you've got room for the two gas bottles just in there. External gas barbecue is there as well, so that just means you don't need to get your gas bottle in and out every time you want a barbecue. Put a bit of gas hose straight onto the side, it will come off your main gas supply. Your domestic wind-out awning at the top as well, so that's a full length of the van, nice size awning. Um, so yeah, you're gonna perfect for the sunny days, just like today. Um, so if you want yeah. a little sun canopy, and also you've got a little light as well, uh, which goes across the top of the door, so if you're outside and it is getting a bit dark, you can always put the light on uh, as well. If we jump on in, yeah. I'll show you more if we go inside. So you've got it's four berth and it is also four belts. So you've got two hidden seats underneath, uh, which I can show you in a second, but we'll start off in the cab. Yeah. Um, so with your cab, you've got the six speed manual gearbox. You've got cruise control, sat nav on that Pioneer system just there, nice size screen. Got loads of USB points and 12 volt points, steering wheel controls, literally everything. Uh, mm -hmm. Just in there, loads of storage as well with the cup holders. You've got a few glove boxes and uh, a nice size reversing screen as well, uh, where your rear view mirror that would be. Yep. Loads of storage as well, just in this top cupboard. And you've got the exact same on the other side uh, as well, just up there. I think it's so, the solar things in there. And then, yeah, there. solar panel uh, regulators just to the top there as well, yeah. just uh, flashing away, charging. Like I said, your extra seats or extra chairs all under there, so they literally yeah. fold up by lifting this up and yeah. then that creates two more uh, travelling seats and this also does make it into a bed at the front as well so it's literally a case of sliding this over across yeah. doing the same with this one and the cushions yeah. will just come into the middle and fold down and that creates the nice uh, double bed just at the front and of course you've got the double bed fixed at the back kitchen area you've got a three burner gas hob and the electric hot plate and also the microwave so you've got loads of cooking options with your separate oven and grill sink is there as well Nice size sink um, to do all your bits in there. Right at the end, you've got extra workspace as well, which just lifts up. Right. Three-way fridge is just there as well, so run off uh, electric, gas, and um, vehicle battery. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got three ways of cooling your fridge down. Nice size fridge with your freezer compartment at the top. Yeah. And then I think we'll jump in the washroom next and show you that. If that can open all the way, mm -hmm. just in there. Come forward. So shower, sink, toilet is all in there as well. Um, nice size mirror as well, nice size shower head, loads of storage as well. And you've also got your shower curtain which slides around so you don't get everywhere wet. Loads of storage as well. 
table storage is there. You've got two rails, so you've almost got like two wardrobes as well, so not going to have enough space for that. And then again, more storage uh, underneath the bed. So this is not accessible from the garage, it's separate, so it's accessible from the inside. Yeah. And you've got the exact same on the other side as well. So more wardrobe space or more storage space, whatever you want. Also, if you didn't want the double bed, you can take the cushion out and you can have almost like two singles. Uh, it's entirely up to um, nice size double bed anyway, uh, as well. I'll just get in front of you so I can show. There's USB at the back there. Yeah, as USB well, points, 240 volt, little light switches. There is a TV point at the back here if they wanted to. Yeah, TV point as well, so you've got the option to watch TV in bed. Yeah. And obviously a privacy curtain yeah. as well to uh, put that across. Yeah. Lovely fan, uh, credit to its previous owner. Uh, so we'll be going on our showground in the next five minutes. Uh, if you're happy and want to come and view it, my name's Tom, I'll be happy to help show you around this lovely eldest.